Oh, hello. I am Gia Graham, a full-time hand lettering artist and illustrator. Today, I'm going to show you how to draw this cute little jellyfish in Procreate. I'll be sharing my step-by-step -step drawing process, and in the description box, I'll leave notes for where you can find all the brushes and resources I use in the video. Let's get started. In Procreate, I've set my canvas size to 3000 pixel square at 300 DPI. You can make your canvas size smaller, but keep the DPI at 300 to ensure your image is good quality. The first thing you'll do is draw an oval. I'm using the 6B pencil, which comes free with Procreate. A little bit below the halfway point, draw a wavy line across the oval. Then draw another wavy line just above that. Now erase the bottom half of the oval, and this is the body of your jellyfish. It's also where the face is going to be. Adjust the shape if you need to, and I'm actually going to make mine a little smaller so there's enough space below to finish the illustration. For the tentacles, start at the bottom of the body and draw several wavy lines of varying lengths. For a little variation, you can give a few of those tentacles a frilly shape. Then go back in and thicken up some of those other lines. Feel free to add one or two more tentacles if you feel like it will help balance the shape. Now let's add a cute little face by creating two crescent shapes for the eyes and a half circle for the mouth. You can even add sweet rosy cheeks. The last thing we're going to do is surround him with a few bubbles, which will just be simple circle shapes in various sizes. Now let's start inking. Tap on the sketch layer, tap on the N, then reduce the opacity to about 30%, and switch to the monoline brush. I will be using my May 2022 palette, and if you'd like access to these colors, you can sign up for my once a month newsletter, where I share a new color palette every month. Signing up will also give you access to my archive with all my previous palettes. Now, I want the background to be a gradient, so rather than clicking here to change the background color, I'm going to create a new layer and position it right above the background layer. Let's use the dark blue and the darkest green in this palette to make the gradient. Select the smudge tool, and I'll be using the gouache shader brush to blend the gradient. I want more blue than green in this gradient, so I will blend down into the green so that the blue will be the dominant color and it will gradually shift to green towards the bottom of the illustration. Create a new layer above the sketch layer. Now jellyfish are translucent, so to play with that effect, create an outline of the body, and we're going to use white for this. Then on a layer below, create a slightly smaller version of that shape, and this time fill it with color. This is actually kind of the body and face all together in one shape. Now we're going to give it a little glow on the left side. To do that, create a layer above and make it a clipping mask. I'll be using the yellow from my palette, and I'm going to select the noise brush. Now I'm just going to add a little yellow along the left side, then reduce the size of the brush to saturate the color right along the edge. Now let's make the tentacles a couple different colors, starting with the frilly ones, which will be in orange. I've switched back to the monoline brush, and I'm inking this on its own layer.
Now we don't want the tops of the tentacles to be visible, so drag this layer below the green face slash body layer. Below that, create a new layer for the next set of tentacles. And I'll use the same green as the face for these tentacles. Now for the last set. I'm going to use a lighter blue-green color. Now we can add highlights to the tentacles in the same way that we did with the face. Create a clipping mask above each tentacle layer, switch to the noise brush, then highlight a few areas on the edges in a lighter color. For these tentacles, I'll also add a little pink along with the highlights. You can also go back in and add a few dots and details just to add a little interest. I'm using the dry ink brush for this. Now for the face. I'm going to move the sketch layer up to the top so I can see what I'm doing. I've switched back to the monoline brush. Now I want to use a dark blue, but this needs a bit more contrast. So I'm going to tap on the classic color mode, then drag the color picker straight down to select a darker version of this blue. Here's an easy trick for making the face symmetrical. Go to the actions menu, turn on drawing guide, click edit drawing guide, and select symmetry. As you can see, this creates a line down the center of the canvas. Tap the blue dot to move the center line to approximately where the center of your face is. It actually looks like mine was already pretty centered. Now you'll see that your new layer now says assisted, so you know that this layer is now in symmetry mode. Draw a crescent shape for one eye and it will be mirrored on the other side. For the mouth, start drawing a semicircle until it connects. Switch to the noise brush, select the light pink, and then add a little color to the cheeks. Again, you only need to do this on one side since you're in symmetry mode. Now you can turn off the drawing guide. If you'd like, you can go back to the face slash body outline layer and add a few more details to give it a little more interest. I'm using the technical pen here because it has a taper, so my lines will go from thin to thick with a slight change in pressure. The last detail is the bubbles. Switch back to the monoline brush, create a new layer, and you're just going to draw a bunch of circles in various sizes. To create a perfect circle, draw one freehand, keep your pencil down until it says ellipse created. Lift your pencil and you'll see it now says edit shape. Tap that, choose circle, and it will adjust your shape to a perfect circle. Then you can drag the white from the color swatch to fill the shape. Again, draw a circle freehand, hold, tap edit shape, tap circle, then fill. Now to make these circles look more like bubbles, go to your bubble layer, tap the end, and drop the opacity down to about 30%. Make a new layer and change the brush to the technical pen. Now draw a little half circle on the left side of each bubble to create a highlight. And there you have your cute little jellyfish illustration. If you'd like to learn more from me, Join me on Skillshare, where I teach classes on digital illustration and hand lettering. If you're new to Skillshare, the link in the description will unlock one month free off your yearly subscription, just for a limited time. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and I'd also love it if you'd like the video and subscribe to my channel.
Thanks for watching.